psychiatrists on social media are drawing attention to what they call eggshell parenting and the harmful impact it can have on children. It happens when parents have unstable moods and frequent outbursts, causing their kids to walk on eggshells around them. Stephanie Wickstrom from the Counseling and Wellness Center at Pittsburgh is back in the studio to share her thoughts on the parenting style. Thank you so much for joining us. It's always a pleasure. You know, there are always these, these new terms that come around, and they may be something that we've actually seen or heard of before. I, I know we talked about almond parents before, mm -hmm. almond moms, uh, but what is this eggshell parenting? Yeah, so th that specific term was new to me as well. Clinically, we call it something different. Um, really, you're being parented by somebody who has a mental health disorder, most commonly borderline personality disorder, narcissistic personality disorder, um, as well as a range of other disorders. So, and, and clinically, would you call it just having a parent with those disorders, or is there a term for it? So it, it would be that disorder, but yeah. sometimes people can exhibit those traits without actually having the disorder, so I there's see. a such a range. So when your parent, and you turn to them as the authority in the house, and a mentor, and a guide, and someone who is supposed to love and care for you, yeah. how do you approach this, especially if you're a young child, if you if you have a parent who's exhibiting these kinds of behaviors? Yeah, so that's, that's so tough, because often children do not even recognize this abuse, or right. what it is. Um, you know, the, the children, they're such collateral in this, and they're often still loving and needing their parent. Um, and, you know, the sad part is that kids, they learn to not love themselves as they're because being parented that way. And how does that happen? How do you, how, how does that get transferred in that way to kids? Yeah, so trust, trust is developed, your nervous system is developed in childhood, and all of these things are really being, um, you know, sidetracked with, with this sort of abusive behavior. Um, it really results in a lot of long-term issues as well as, you know, anxiety, depression, adjustment disorders in childhood. You know, it's really interesting because as much focus and attention that we give to mental health and taking care of our mental health, there are ramifications if you don't. And, and this is a very clear cut example of it because if you're not taking care of it, it has right. lasting impacts on children. Yeah. Um, can we talk about some of the examples of eggshell parenting? Absolutely. So. You know, an eggshell parent, they do many things differently. Um, for example, maybe uh, they're rushing out the door with their young child and trying to be on time. Um, and maybe the child is playing or running or not paying attention and they are just triggered. They're triggered by so many things. Mm -hmm. And they will criticize, blame, um, you know, really become escalated. And that dysregulation is what courses through a lot of their pathology. So, um, you know, they might say a lot of things and say it in a really big voice that can become quite scary. Um, and another difference with an eggshell parent, they're not going to recognize that behavior is wrong later. They're not right. going to apologize. And in fact, if somebody calls them out, they're going to say, oh, you know, minimize it, dismiss it. That was nothing. It. Yeah. Exactly. Right. Um, and there's a difference, because I know a lot, so many of us, you gave the example of running out the door, Mary was even talking about that before, so many of us, when we're under stress or we're under these time constraints, we, we can yell, we can, yeah. um, and, and carry the guilt later of Absolutely. doing so. But what is the difference between occasionally snapping or yelling and, and eggshell parenting? Like, where's the difference lie there? Yeah, so it, there are probably so many well-intentioned parents right now who are not eggshell parents wondering, I hope this isn't me, and it right. probably isn't it's not. if you're right. asking yourself that. So um, classically, there's really one big thing that eggshell parents will never do, and that's that's the apology, It's right? the apology so, part of it. Okay. And, and I'd love to share like a good example of how to repair if you do make a mistake, raise Please. your voice, you know? So you're really going to tune in when you're in a calm state and say, you know, I'm so sorry for the way that I handled that. That must have been scary for you. You know, I'm going to do a better job of calming myself in the future, and I, I love you so much. Offering that reassurance and emotional attunement to your child. That they were feeling something in that moment, too, yeah. and that you had made the mistake in owning up for it. Absolutely. Oh, thank goodness you said that. Yeah. <laughs> because I've been there, and I, you know, you're laying in bed at night, been, and you're yeah. thinking, oh my gosh, why did I yell at them, and why is this? 
and they're asleep now and I can't say sorry. So, you, and I've always made the point the next morning to have that conversation, yeah. not maybe as eloquently as you did, <laughs> but I'll take note for next time. Um, if you are recognizing, although you may not be, if you're watching, how do you stop this? I mean, to me, it sounds like if there are other underlying issues, it's really seeking therapy and, and help. Right, yeah, so it really starts with the self, right? So the parent, in order to parent effectively, they need to start with self-compassion, self-love, and regulating their emotions. Um, so if you think, the person who has this uh, a personality disorder, they are suffering, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It doesn't feel good to walk around with that kind of circuitry that's being tripped all the time. Right. So um, learning how to navigate that and become more balanced in conflict is so important. Um, and in fact, at the Counseling and Wellness Center of Pittsburgh, we're doing something called the Nervous System Reset Challenge. It Wonderful. starts this Saturday, and it's absolutely free. Anybody can sign up if you just go to NervousSystemResetChallenge.com. Um, we will send you 21 exercises every day, or 21, one per day for 21 days. And it'll help you to really, you know, any person will benefit, not just personality disorder. Not just people who are falling yeah. into this category. Well, that's fantastic. And we'll make sure to get the link to everybody at home, put it on our website Thank just in you. case people want more information. Thank you so much, Pleasure. Stephanie.